Does antibacterial soap do more harm than good? Seems like the FDA agrees because they have banned it. I knew it. I knew sale it. at least. I've known it for years. So Never trusted uh, this was it. at first uh, announced in 2013, and they had three. The FDA gave soap companies three years to either approve their claims or stop doing it. And according to them, the claims they got back were either not very reliable or they were totally blown off by soap companies altogether, which sounds like a funny thing to have happen. Like, you know we can just we make can you shut stop, your shit right? Down, right? You're not you going to say this. anything? Okay. Um, okay. So we have a comment from Janet Woodcock, director of the FDA Center for Drug Evaluation and Research, saying... Consumers may think antibacterial washes are more effective at preventing the spread of germs, but we have no scientific evidence that, there are, that they are any better than plain soap and water. In fact, some data suggests that antibacterial ingredients may do more harm than good over the long term. Um, yes, there is some research that indicates that using subfatal amounts of triclosan on uh, these bacterias uh, causes them to not die and, in fact, get stronger. This can affect your gut bacteria, which is something related to your gastrointestinal health and even beyond. And that's if you lick the soap off your hands instead of rinsing? Um, well, uh, it's also, like, for the antibacterial. <laughs> yes, Becca, you should do okay. that. Because I've been doing that for years, and it, it doesn't work. working. No. Oh, well, they say, like, for it to be effective, you need to have a higher concentration that it's available, and you need it to be on your hands longer than it takes to wash your hands. So, in effect, it's not really following through on the claim at all. I actually looked up what regular soap and water does, because I was like, oh, okay, How so antibacterial uh, kills germs, whereas regular soap and water, what is that doing? what's different? So, what happens is it actually, the soap lifts the dirt off your hand a little bit, so it can mm -hmm. be rinsed away more easily when you wash your hands. So the washing with off. soap and no water is not a thing. Doesn't work. It, so if I just dunk my hand in soap and be like, I'm clean now. Not quite. No. No. No, I'm no, just no. wearing a glove. You're just wearing a glove a of dirt. A liquid glove of yeah. dirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, that's great. Um, so yeah, it's, it's on the basis of false claims or claims that aren't really practical or substantial or substantiated. And I think that's really fair. Uh, it's not... A great idea, I suppose. It doesn't mean stop washing your damn hands. It just means that the antibacterial, antimicrobial soaps don't do exactly what they say they do, and they're no better than regular soap, so just use regular soap and don't make false claims. I'm just going to throw in that hand sanitizer does the same thing, and this mm -hmm. is something I've been scared of for years because of some article I read years ago that every time we use something antibacterial, we're actually allowing these super bacteria to grow because it has to evolve so that it can continue to live because we're killing it off partially. Well, that may be very much in line with the sub-fatal levels of uh, triclosan, though it might not necessarily be triclosan in those antibacterial hand sanitizers, but it's, uh, you know, if it's not a fatal amount of that chemical, it's not going to hurt them. It's going to make them stronger because that adage applies to germs as well. Mm -hmm. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger and makes you sicker. Maybe. Potentially. Audience, do you use uh, antibacterial soap and will you ever stop? Well, it looks like you might have to very soon. Let us know what you think below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more. <laughs>